Ouchies. You won. Let's hurry on through the cave. Oh, again. Maybe he'll be gone. Nope. Persistent little buggers, aren't you? Okay, you want to fight? You gotta fight. Do 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 do. Ouch! Ouch! That hurt quite a bit. Bit. Ouch! Ouch! I'm gonna have to use a croissant soon, I imagine. I could go back for the hamburger, but then I'd have to fight all the enemies again. Oh, well, at least I'm level 8. It's a nice stat boost. That's always cool. More random mushrooms of... Uh... That, that makes me feel really insecure. Just a bunch of mushrooms gathered around. It's like they're trying to attack me or something. Crap, my stopwatch is being stupid. Oh, well. I'll just... You know, assume that this isn't too long. It's not a mimic or anything, so... I uh, might as well use my... That's not my croissant. Delicious. And there is a bottle rocket. Uh, mushroom. Do not want to fight them. Because they give you a status effect that reverses your controls, which I, you know, would be awesome at this time, right? Uh, dang it. I love having my controls reversed in a cave with no maneuverability at all. That would be so much fun. And remember in the last video series, crap, when I said I forgot something? Well, it wasn't really anything important. I just wanted to say that uh, Lear X Agarit, I went back to Onet, and Lear X Agarit actually sold the, the uh, Minotaur statue that we saw earlier. He sold it to some sort of charismatic guy, but that's the only thing he was able to say about him. Looks like we have to at least fight one of them, so crap. Here goes nothing. Let's hope my controls don't get reversed. Strut an evil mushroom. Oh, he's being absent-minded. Silly him. Oh, there was a cookie, but I can't carry that crap. No. Yes, I will leave the cookie behind. I abandoned the cookie. I regret my abandonment of the cookie. Not really. A cheap brace. Ugh. Uh, what do I not need? Ruler. I I really don't know what that does at all. I really need that cheap brace though, because unless if you're blind, you can easily see that there's a boss coming, and better be ready for that. I imagine it's not going to be pretty. Oh boy. What level am I at anyway? Level 6? Level 8, alright. We're getting there. We're still... Dang it! I need to go to the boss full health. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to leave it off here for now. And when we uh, come back, I will be up at the top getting ready to face whatever the heck that boss is. Hopefully I'm powerful enough so that I don't have to uh, go back and uh, level up everybody else again and that sort of thing. But we'll see about that. It shouldn't be too hard, because, after all, I just have one character, and he's not all that powerful anyway. So then, until next time, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all later. There was also something else that I wanted to bring up, but uh, I kind of forgot. A few users have been uh, asking me uh, if I could do a questions and answers video sometime soon. And I decided, well, you know what, that's a pretty, that's a pretty fun idea. Why the hell not? So sometime in the beginning of next month, probably before the 10th, I've decided to do it next month because uh, I'm actually going to start school tomorrow, and my first few weeks are probably going to be pretty hectic as I get used to the new schedule. Uh, so uh, wish me luck for school, first off. But uh, yeah, I decided that that would be a pretty fun idea to uh, try it out. A few people have been asking for it. I, I'm sorry I can't remember your names right now, but it's really nice that you've been asking. I'll be uh, making it sometime in the beginning of next month, so get your questions ready and I'll get my answers ready. Uh, I'll work out some sort of format where you can uh, ask and I'll answer. Uh, maybe I'll uh, make a specific video that you'll leave questions on, or maybe I'll just uh, invite everybody to send me questions, even just whenever you feel like it, and I'll just slam them into the video. Uh, I'll figure it out when I get that far, so uh, keep your eyes open for it if you're interested. It should be out sometime in the... Uh, the beginning of February. 
And uh, there was something else I wanted to uh, uh, to say, but I can't remember, so I'm gonna have to check. Just give me a second. Oh yes, I'd like to uh, congratulate Koek for reaching the 330 subscriber mark. I actually think he's a little bit over it by the time uh, you viewed this recording. If you are interested in the, the Hitman series of games, or perhaps even the Splinter Cell series of games, I think he's going to do a, a Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow next, but I, I don't really know for sure. But anyway, if you're interested in those series of games and you're looking for a Let's Play of it, then give him a shot. He's, he's pretty cool. On another little note, I uh, kind of want to apologize for uh, not uploading this a little bit sooner. Uh, five days is a little bit of a long wait, but... I had some weird graphical issue with the emulator where the sprites for all the characters and road signs would inter overlap with each other in some uh, ugly, uh, confusing mess of pixels, and it was hard to explain, but it was actually really easy to fix once I figured it out. All I had to do was press one of the number keys, because apparently some of the layers on the emulator had become jumbled. It wasn't anything major, like what happened with Dino Crisis, where I accidentally erased the... Uh, the save state, that's not going to happen again, mind you. I always have at least three save states on hand for any given game. Well, uh, I think I've rambled on long enough, so I'll stop taking up all your valuable time. Till next time, everybody, I'll see y'all later.